what's up beautiful people today we're going to be checking out an amazing video that i'm sure you're gonna like this one is titled oldest people caught in providence let's get to it reach that goal and be able to stand here and look that good <laughs> you reach it <laughs> counselor it wasn't that long ago i was born in 1960 so it's just like <laughs> yesterday oh judge i wasn't even paying attention to the red light for what he did for our country he could go through a few more <laughs> my wife passed away a year ago this week and if she was living, she'd cook that for you. Yeah. An 85-year-old immigration worker working full-time as a security guard impresses Judge Frank Caprio with his work ethics. He's got two red lights and one speeding charge. I went through work and then and all this. And my boss said that if I'm late, they send me home. What hours do you work? I'm working uh, any time. I'm working six hours, four hours, three hours, not much. You're 85 years old? Yeah. You're not 85 years 85. Old. He, he looks works younger. as a security officer and works for about four to six hours. Judge Frank was quite shocked that an 85-year-old was still working, and besides that, he still looks good and mm -hmm. also still has a good shape. His wife lives in Florida. Yeah, who's at home? I can't, I can't stay home. Stay, yeah, but who, do nothing. Who, who is at home? Is there a wife at home? No, my wife lives in Florida. Who's going to do the dishes right now? <laughs> None of that. What country are you from? From Haiti. Haiti. 40 years. 40 years? Mm -hmm. He has a school zone violation that's one mile over the limit. Judge Frank dismissed that. He also stated that he was going to dismiss one of the red lights, but mentioned that the other red light would cost him about $85. So, we have people from all over the world. They make contributions, and it's designed to help those people who need a break. You won't have to pay for it. Thank you. <laughs> he was Thank quick you. to respond. You know, words, right? <laughs> Judge Frank recognizes the retired attorney and the two of them share fond memories of one another. Attorney Thomas Gidley. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Counselor. If I'm a retired attorney, my license is on ice. You're going to say to yourself, how in God's will does he know this about me, okay? Industrial bank building. You've got, a, you've got a wonderful memory. Judge Frank was at Camp Bonham at the same time Anthony Thomas was at camp, which was in the 1960s. Judge Frank mentioned that he remembers he was in officer training school, then he served. He became a captain ultimately, then he retired. Well, more like he resigned because he had too many things going on at the time. I have uh, fond memories of Camp Farnham. I was at Camp Varnum at the same time you were at Camp Varnum. I Probably 1960. Oh, then it was 1960. Sure. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what rank did you achieve? Uh, I became a captain ultimately, and oh, then I... Uh, oh, you know, uh, Camp Varnum is located in Narragansett, Inspector Quinn. And I was a young National Guardsman at the time. He's got a school zone violation on Branch Avenue. He explained that there happened to be another vehicle registered, perhaps as a commercial vehicle, which has the same license plate number as his. He stated that he was nowhere near that particular time as he was probably at home on his bed or up having breakfast with his wife. Well, hmm. you... <laughs> Two vehicles can have same registration? We have this uh, school zone violation in Rhode Island, which has the same license plate number as mine. And if not in bed, I was up having breakfast with my wife. She's, she's not here to, to testify. She, <laughs> she's still practicing medicine in her 80s. Really? Well, based on your persuasive argument and <laughs> taking into consideration, this matter is dismissed. Case is dismissed. Thank you so much, Your Honor. Good luck. It's a pleasure <laughs> to see you again. It I was like this honestly just heartwarming watching them both exchange memories like that. On to our next case. Judge Caprio means the oldest motorist ever to appear before him. He appears to be a military man who served in the Second World War. He's been driving for 84 years without a driving ticket. Now, that's really amazing. Wow. Unfortunately, one red light violation is going to spoil his record. Yeah. You're a military man. Yes. Oh, well, you served in the Second World War. Yes. And now you're turning the bad corner in life. <laughs> you have such a great career, right? War hero. Signals at that intersection. There's trucks going in all directions. And I must have followed a truck. It's the only reason I can guess. He served one year in New Guinea, and they made preparations to land in Luzon in the Philippines to free their country. And he was in the Philippines for a year. They tried freeing Manila, but that was already destroyed when they got there. 
Tell me about your military service during the war. We, I served one year in New Guinea. The March to Bataan. That was in the Philippines. Yes, it was. We did try to free Manila, but that was already destroyed when we arrived. I did contract a uh, jungle disease. You did from? When in New Guinea. In New Guinea, yeah. He heard that the war had ended from the Army headquarters, and their next job was to get all the Japanese that they could and ship them down to Minnesota for repatriation. Judge Frank asked how old he was. He stated that he was 100 years old. 100 years old and that's still strong enough to drive? It's kind of mind-blowing. You just don't really get to see that every day. Oh, that was yellow. Oh, red. Well, based on your contributions to this country, you know, we're not going to uh, go any further with this. I think that you represent people who respect one another and cover for one another and protect someone else. Mr. Castor is 100 years old. He appears in court today. The judge stated that he definitely would exemplify as the greatest generation if the greatest generation is being talked about. Judge Frank then told the court that he had three cousins who served overseas and were all in the war. One never came back. He was in the European theater. His plane was shot down and he died, and that's pretty sad. So I, I remember that uh, so well. So you really did make the world safe and things weren't looking too good there for a while. Based on his contribution to the country, the judge dismissed the case to thank him for his service and bravery. He was definitely- I thought when you get to 90, you're not allowed to drive anymore. You can drive when you're 100, but he still looks quite strong. The judge dismissed not the case to thank strong. him for his service and bravery. He was definitely a great veteran and deserved that. On to our next case. We want to honor you and thank you for your service, for your bravery, and for your contributions to this country and the, this case is dismissed. I mean, thank you. Good luck to you. A former Federal Hill neighbor surprises Judge Caprio with a long forgotten family connection. He immediately made it clear that he has no recollection of what his ticket was all about as it was seven years ago, but it came in the mail recently. On November 15th, 2011. Right. Where were you at 6.38 in the morning? I don't know where I was yesterday. I'll tell you where it's you were. It's my number plate. I can sure relate to that. The judge showed him a video of what had happened and asked if that was his car. He affirmed that the car was his, but insisted that he doesn't recollect a light going off. It appears that that was the only ticket on his record. I mean, it took the court seven years to catch him. Huh. How'd they miss that one? Probably my car. I'm not, but the thing is... This is the only ticket you have. I have your record. You, have, you don't have anything else besides this. It probably cost the city four or five thousand dollars. Yeah. My wife passed away a year ago this week. What a generous man he is. Mr. Kavachi thought there was a possibility that some of Judge Frank's relatives probably worked for his grandfather. The judge asked him if his father was also born in Italy and he was a fruit peddler. My father keeps tell, used to tell me that somebody owed him some money that they never paid <laughs> Let's talk he was about working. Something. The matter is dismissed. Thank you. A 91-year-old lawyer impresses the court with his oratory skills. It appears that Judge Frank has known Attorney Brasco for many years as he's been practicing for an awfully long time. Well, today he's not representing anybody but himself. I have a little bit of trouble hearing. At age 91, I'm kind of losing the... In this particular case, and I offer it to the court, that I had to use the meter. It went from uh, 9.59 a.m. to 11.59, one minute. He explained that he had to use the meter and he did so by credit card. The date on the credit card was February 6th and he paid for two hours. According to the certificate, the hours he had paid for went from 9.59 a.m. to 11.59 a.m., and the ticket he got was dated February 6th, but at 12 noon. Just one minute cost him $25. Hmm. There is no grace period involved, but um, that gives a lot of credit to you. Uh... Well, Judge Frank was curious to know how he's 91 years old and still as sharp as a tack. Honestly, I'm quite curious too. He revealed the secret is his wife, and he mentioned that he didn't want her to know he said that because he'll pay a dear price for it. Got married in 1960, oh. and I've been, well, married to... Uh, quite a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quite a well, sentence. Well, that's quite a lot of grandkids. 
The judge appointed a court-appointed lawyer representing attorney AJ. The judge wanted to hear his opinion on the disposition of the case. He stated that the case should be dismissed based upon the 60-second rule. I'm going to appoint a, uh, I'm going to have a court-appointed lawyer representing you. Counsel Bevilacqua. Well, this case should be dismissed based upon that 60-second rule. <laughs> you know, that's a, on, that's that, why they both get paid the big buck. And on the spur of the moment, he came up with that excuse, that uh, defense, and it's a very, uh, very poignant. So Judge Frey granted Anthony's motion, and he dismissed the case. I'm well, sure he learned that from his dad. Absolutely. His dad used to be like that. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad you got represented by counsel, finally. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's everything. Oh, shit. I like that. Anyways, let me know what you think about that. I just thought I should bring it, and I thought you might enjoy it. Feel free to share your thoughts. It's beautiful. I thought you stopped. I really thought at the age of 90, you can't drive anymore. But people are driving 100. Well, I need to keep myself fit. I'm going to drive to like 120 because I like driving. That was a good video. You know, very, very good video. I love George Frank. He does a very good job, an amazing job. And he, he doesn't only practice the law. He's also a human and he, he reflects in his work. A lot of people these days are so systematic that it feels like they are robots. But Judge Frank is not like that. He's a real person. Anyways, let me know what you think about that. Share your thoughts. It's the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace. I'm gonna hate this bed on my own. Bed on my own.